Hello, and welcome back to Shusong. Well, we are leaving the tower. The village has been given a date. I can't quite believe it. I still think about our dance. The last festival already seemed so long ago. It was so nice to forget about all this for sleep. I didn't realize it at the time, but I think at some point I'd given up. But then, you have her. The dizziness after that long waltz. The way I stepped on my feet. The way your cheeks glowed pink. I don't know how to ask you this, but want to come with me? Journey for life on the same pebble. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I know it's short notice, but now I care enough to be afraid. Afraid of what I could miss out on if I don't send you this message. I hope you get it. Right. There. Yes, there's supposed to be something down there. Eccentrics, hardliners, optimists, stern with the tides. I've never seen such different kinds of people working toward a common goal. Well, sort of. I'm not so sure I'm on the same page as the others anymore. I've realized that the people around me have nets and harpoons. Knives. They want to capture the ballasts. I was sure we'd set off on this adventure to prove they were real. That we were going to study them, figure out how they were linked to the rain's disappearance, solve the mystery of the piper. Now I hope those creatures only exist in stories, because this expedition is starting to look like a hunting party. I feel so stupid for not seeing it before. You know what? Raising pebbles was fun, till I started doing it for a living. I think I lost my way. You know me, I wasn't really thinking ahead when I took over the old farm. I couldn't just abandon the pebbles my parents cared for all their lives. Sure, I never dreamed of delivering the mail, but it kept the animals fed and my debts paid. I kept my noggin above water, like this here on your parts. But since the villages have been uprooted, it's been so hard. Too few people on the cliffs and too much distance to cover. I'm wearing myself and my animals out, and I'm getting nothing but crumbs. I can't go on like this. I remember when we first met. That seems so long ago now. I would run away from the farm. Remember how mad my dad was? That was quite something. But I just couldn't deal with the sun anymore. Now look where I've ended up. I miss our little laughs. I even miss the tunnels. Tell me, thanks for your letter. Things aren't any better here. I've made zero progress in my mending. I've spent ages working on this hideous piece of embroidery because I would rather watch rocks the road. Were you able to sort through your parents' stuff like you wanted? The poor things never got to enjoy them. All they did was work. Is that what will happen to us too? We could both decide to opt out. The world would keep on turning. Well, keep on not, not turning. You get the idea. Take care.
they kept all those ruins around, but it seems that no one bothered to study them. I don't know why I would want to do that, but I guess it's fine. I don't know if the, what the deal is with parts in the ocean. It's all they talk about. We have to explore the Great Plain. Go further, cross the ocean right, ridges, find the ocean, blah blah blah. Fine, set sail for the desert if you want, but why should I have to come along too? They're getting on my nerves. Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of scared. I bet I'll get dizzy. Walking? Horizontally? Nope, mm -mm, no thanks, not for me. Uh, so that's it, Neil, you're leaving. I wouldn't mind going off on an expedition instead of marinating this old place. It's so boring here. You have no idea. I can't take it anymore. If I have to roast, at least let me roast in the desert when the things are happening. Plus, what if you found a spring? You'd be famous. Dear to sleep, Rose asked me to tell him a bedtime story. He's getting to be a big boy now. 
but I love it when I can still put on his little. I decided to tell him the tale of the long rain. I told him about the overflowing canals, high tide, the locks, and so on. But eventually he stopped me because he didn't understand. He didn't know what rain was. I'm starting to doubt myself. We both agree that it's not just some tale our elders made up. It did exist, right? Hey, I think it did. Yeah, but to be honest, I see where your kid's coming from. Water falling from the sky does sound pretty odd. I wouldn't be surprised if the old folks hadn't made it all up and are having a good laugh at us all up there. Can you even imagine? Living in a place where the rain is but a story. Oh, somewhere there. Hmm. I wonder. So walking all the way over here did not bring us closer, or did it? Stones, paintings, gathering dust, and this wall that used to tell time, now rendered useless. These ruins are like my old lighthouse. I'm sure of it. They are reassuringly familiar, which is something I really needed. I thought I'd find the answers on the climb, but I'm realizing I don't know what questions to ask. I think back to the Bianca I was just a few sleeps ago. So full of certainty. Small fry that I was back then. <laughs> now as I write this I wonder, why did I set off on this adventure? No answer, of course. The building watches in silence. I guess I'll have to keep climbing to find out what I'm looking for. But the clouds above us are still so small. I feel so far away from everything. Around me, my teammates snore, lost in the rise and falls of sleep. I wish I could close my eyes and rest too, but I can't stop my mind from wondering. What's the connection between the piper and the bolasts? 
Arlon Becca's legends don't say. But I think they're two sides of the same coin. The water and the clouds and the piper's rain. I'm sure if I could just untangle this ringing, I could convince the group to lay down their weapons. Sleep's evading Matt too. She's gazing out into the distance. The great plain seems even bigger from up here. I feel very small and lost. Like a little shell clinging to the side of the cliff. Oops. Oh no. Oh no. Please. Thank you. Chapter 4 Convergence Service memo. The old canal is finally clean and locks 4 to 7 have been serviced. In all my time as a water surveyor, I've never seen the water level this low. But at least I was able to give the canal a good clean. Let's just say it was about time. Yep, yep, yep. I've never been this filthy in my entire life. Ugh. Off the clock for the sleep. Until next time, Ida.
Thank you. And this is where I'm gonna end this part, so for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!